Hi everybody, I'm Mike and welcome to my Game Dev channel. In this video I want to introduce you to the new playlist called Blueprints to C++. I'm a bit nervous because <laughs> this is my real first YouTube video that I'm recording so please have some patience with me if not everything works from the start. So this channel will be all about Game Dev with Unreal Engine 4 and will cover topics from programming to game asset creation. My goal with this channel and starting with this playlist is to share all my knowledge and experience with you that I learned over the last month and years in game dev. So maybe as a small info on the background of this, around eight months ago, I switched from Unity to the Unreal Engine. After years of trying to work with Unity, I decided to continue developing my game Shadows of the Dark Star in Unreal. And if there is some interest in why I did this, um, just mention it in the comments or so. Maybe I can do a, a separate video why I changed from Unity to Unreal. So to learn Unreal, I watched a lot of tutorials on YouTube or bought books and paid tutorials, especially on C++ with Unreal, because I wanted to code in Unreal like I did with C Sharp in Unity. But the information I needed for that was compared to using blueprints and blueprint visual scripting was very scarce or buried in some old form entries. So to and to also figure out some functionality that I needed for my game, I thought about or I bought several project templates on the Unreal Marketplace, which were 100% blueprints. And, um, and I started to convert these to a C++ base. And I have to say, I learned a lot from that. Not only how to use the Unreal C++ game framework, but also even I learned a lot about Blueprint Visual Scripting. But it was a long process. It really took me a long time doing that. Um, and I made many mistakes. But from those I learned how to do things the right way. Um, and because of that, I wanted to share this knowledge and experience that I got through converting blueprints to C++ with you. So that you don't have to go through months of learning like I did. And I'm still learning tons of new stuff every day that I might share in the future. So with this playlist, but also with my channel in general, I hope I can help you to be more proficient in development with Unreal. And to show you what this... Um, playlist now is all about um, what it will do, what it will teach. So it will teach you how to use the Unreal Engine C++ game framework and shows how to convert Blueprint Visual Scripting to C++. And this last thing is the um, most important thing about that playlist. And like I mentioned before, I learned a lot by converting Blueprint to Visual Scripting uh, B Blueprint Visual Scripting to C++ and so this is why um, the focus is on this and that's why I uh, named it Blueprints to C++. Um, so I will describe when to use Visual Scripting, when C++ uh, is better and how to combine them because in the end um, there's no one way. You don't go like C++ only or Blueprints only the epic way of doing things is a combination of both. and But I will go into that far more in details in the single episodes that come in the future. So this series now starts with the basics and later down the road covers more advanced topics like using UMG, the uh, Unreal Interface system with C++, how to bind widgets and so on. Um, and because I will use it in my game um, down the road, like the game playability system, Epic Online Services, I might cover that in the future as well. Um, but this is, this is a long way down the road. But I mentioned what I will teach, but now there are some points that I won't teach or cover in this series. I will not teach you the C++ programming language or how to program in general. Um, this is something you need to uh, know. 
and I will not cover Unreal Engine basics, so how to use the engine, the editor, and everything. So there's a lot of requirements um, that I will, uh, yeah, require <laughs> basically um, that you need to have. And like the, the last point is, I will not show you how to use blueprints or teach you the blueprints visual scripting. Like I mentioned, requirements. Um, you need kind of like have Unreal Engine 4.24 or higher installed. Um, you have like installed and working C++ IDE, Visual Studio or Writer for Unreal. I will come back to that in a second. Um, and some programming experience with C++ or at least with another language like C Sharp or Java. Like when you are coming from a uh, Unity background, um, then there is enough inf and you code it in Unity with C Sharp, then um, this is good enough experience. Uh, understanding of the Unreal Engine 4 editor, like I said, and familiarity with Unreal Engine game framework, some experience with blueprint visual scripting, all of that is really helpful if you have that knowledge, because I won't cover or teach that these topics. But you can even have a look at the videos and try to figure things out, even if you don't have these things. But it would be a lot better if you have this knowledge. So, um, in some ways, there's some UE4 resources that I wanted to mention. Stuff like uh, that helped me in the beginning, or it's only official stuff right now. If there's a need or if you guys want me to, let's say, do one video with some um, YouTube channels and other resources, there's tons that I use and, and visit every day um, from other Unreal Engine developers and stuff. So that's why I just mentioning these um, kind of official stuff, only the community wiki. Um, which there was a wiki with Unreal Engine, but due to lack of uh, articles or stuff, I don't know why yet, they closed it down, but there is a community-based uh, wiki for the Unreal Engine, which has all the legacy stuff from the old wiki and has new stuff. So um, let me uh, just show you all these. I, I will put all of those links in the um, description down below, so uh, don't worry about that. Um, let me share, show you um, these links, for example. Here's the Unreal Engine documentation, and this is really awesome. Um, there's so much stuff in there. If you're new to Unreal, uh, you can go through things. Um, there are sample tutorials about Blueprint Visual scripting. There's an Unreal C++ API reference, which is really helpful and which um, becomes, yeah. Or this is something that I will cover um, when we go into the meat of things. Um, searching for function call, searching for um, headers to include and all that stuff that you need. So this is the uh, main Unreal Engine documentation site. And like I mentioned before, I expect you to have at least an IDE um, installed. If you need help, um, and there are two IDEs that I could recommend. My favorite is Rider for Unreal, which I come back into a second. Um, if you want to use Visual Studio, Visual Studio, um, Mostly 2017 will be used. I think there's some support for 2019 right now. Some videos out there on YouTube, how to install it. Um, here's the official um, setting up uh, Visual Studio doc um, that really explains what you need to do to install um, Visual Studio, all the components needed and all that stuff. So that's in here. Um, and if you're using Visual Studio, there is a plugin um, which costs money, but is really if you're using Visual Studio, it's really essential. 
when I started, I bought this, uh, I think it cost $99 or something. Um, I bought this because it really helps with code correction, and like it says here, code assistance, refactoring, and syntax highlighting, because Unreal has so many things, like macros and stuff, um, defined. And you will see that once we get into the um, the real tutorials, that the standard Visual Studio um, is just not really uh, supporting it. Or you see a lot of squigglies and and stuff for errors that are re and are really there because the um, Unreal build tool will go through stuff and replace macros with. Co uh, real code and, and so on. Uh, I will show you all of this in, in the future episodes. So this is Visual Assist. Uh, there's a, a free word, or you can try it for free for I think 30 days or something. So you can give it a shot. Or what you can use, and this is what I switched to once uh, I read about it and thought, okay, I give it a try and um, played with it and just saw a, this is so much better because uh, it offers so much more than Visual Studio with even Visual Assist that it's knowledge knowledgeable about preprints and many more things uh, that you can see me use um, when we do coding and go through all those topics later on. So I can just recommend using Rider for Unreal. Me personally, I think I will going. I'm going to buy this once it. Uh, it's released. Um, it's still in the early preview, so you can join for free. You get like a a license. Uh, mine was, I think, until starting next year or something. So you could still try it out, play with it, and you really fall in love with it. Um, that's for sure. <laughs> so Rider for me is the Unreal or the C++ IDE. Uh, that I'm going to use. Then, like I mentioned in the slides, uh, there is also a learning site from Unreal, which is really awesome. Like there's so many tutorials free that you can go through. Sorry about that. Um, uh, that you can go through. And it's really helpful from materials, basics. So if you're really new to um, to Unreal, there's like the first hours. You can see that while we're scrolling down, there are so many things like the first hour with Unreal Engine, UMG, the interface system, and so many things more. Um, and if you're coming from, let me scroll up for a sec. If you're coming from Unity, there's like a Unity tutorial or uh, making the switch from Unity to Unreal Engine. And that's a tr that is really awesome. Uh, it helped me a lot when I switched from Unity to Unreal, so I really recommend this. Watch this first. Um, it really helps you explain the differences because Unreal has so has different nomenclatures for their use or even their game framework, like using actors, using pawns and all that stuff, which makes up the game framework is uh, so much different uh, to Unity's um, system. And this really helps you make a switch. There's still stuff that you need to go through, learn, <laughs> and so on. So, uh, But this will give you a good start. And then there's the Unreal YouTube channel, which really, f from six years ago to now, has so many cool videos explaining stuff from blueprints, some examples, and um, it really helps to go through stuff and just play. See, see what you can do. They have playlists, different ones, um, like multiplayer introduction to materials, for example, and many, many things more. So it's really um, a helpful resource. And then, like I mentioned, the Unreal UE4 Community Wiki, which is now community run, um, community driven. And there you have a lot of topics and even blueprints, C++. And then there is the legacy stuff that I mentioned from the original um, wiki that you can uh, 
go through and you can see tons of stuff and they have little examples and things so this is really helpful um, so that's for the uh, UE4 resources so we're almost at the end of the video and this was just supposed to be like an introduction of what this playlist is about what it um, what you can expect in the future so in the first episode basically we are talking about the basics of programming C++ in Unreal, how to create a project, create classes, but even stuff like general code structures, naming conventions, and several things that you just need to know about in the beginning when you're uh, creating C++, using C++, and the C++ framework. Before we dive then in episode two into varial types, um, and new properties like um, comparing, okay, you create an integer in blueprints, how it looks like in C++ and st stuff. So this is what we cover here and all what is needed for, for these. Then third episode about function definitions, U functions, then going through basic data structures like T-Array, T-Set and so on over enum structs interfaces so you can see there's a lot to cover and there's so much more to come um, this will just be the first couple of uh, episodes that, that i just laid out uh, so i hope you can look forward to it and um, so thank you for watching uh, this was the first intro video of the playlist um, that I'm going to create the next couple of days, weeks. So if you want to get notified when new videos are coming out, then please subscribe to the channel and liking and subscribing, like you know the old saying <laughs> with YouTube stuff, uh, would be really helpful if you can do that. So thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Bye bye.